Now, in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh, there is actually a lot of support for normal monsters that allows you to cheat them onto the field easier than effect monsters, and use them for other combo plays. So for this list, I'll be looking for normal monsters that do not combo well with normal monster support, and explain why they're worse than other similar cards. At number 10, we have the Ojama Brothers. Out of all the level 2 monsters, the three Ojama cards definitely have the most support, and probably see the most play. But my god, does no one who plays Ojama decks actually want to use these cards? And it's more like they have to for the amazing support cards. So even though these cards technically have mountains of support, they themselves are super bad cards, and their support literally needs to be a little broken, so people will even play them. So I'm including them on this list anyway, despite their being a better candidate for the worst level 2 normal monster. Number 9, Heretic Seal of the Sun Dragon Overlord. Honestly, there are not a lot of level 8 normal monsters and all of them are pretty decent, or have high enough stats. Even Heretic Seal has a whole bunch of archetype support, and Infernal Reckless Summon plays for easy rank 8 plays. But I think this card is the worst of the bunch for the reason the Ojama cards made the list. Sure, it can be useful, and has a ton of support, but no one really wants to play this card. It's a level 8 monster with no stats or effect. Not even the archetype it was made for really wants to use it. Number 8, Ancient Jar. Level 1 monsters have a mountain of support, so their stats literally don't matter. So I had to pick the level 1 monster with the least amount of support and usefulness. So Ancient Jar fit the bill for being rock type. Not to say rock type monsters have no good support. Ancient Jar can be made useful with Magnetic Field but all the other level 1 normal monsters have more support, and Ancient Jar was picked as more of a process of elimination than anything else. As in case you hadn't caught on yet, I've been picking the worst normal monster of each level. That won't be the entire list though, but that will be how 8 spots on the list were chosen, as there are only normal monsters up to level 8. Number 7, Sleeping Lion. Out of all the level 4 normal monsters, Sleeping Lion has the lowest attack, for a monster with less than 2000 defense. Every other level 4 normal monster with less than 700 attack also has 2000 or more defense, so there's supposed to be low attack, high defense monsters. Except Mighty Guard, but his attack is 500 exactly, and it's machine type so it's useful for machine duplication plays, and is better for it. So he's out of the running of the worst. So with one of the lowest stat lines and low attack, it's one of the worst level 4 normal monsters, even if its type and attribute have some decent support cards. But there is one other level 4 normal monster that I think is worse, despite having higher attack. Number 6, Flying Fish. This card is level 4 with 800 attack and 500 defense. That is the second lowest stat line of any of the level 4 normal monsters. Behind Soul Eater, who at least is a target for Mass Chameleon. And despite having a slightly higher attack than Sleeping Lion, at least Sleeping Lion has more stats with just its defense alone than Flying Fish's attack and defense combined. Although, that being said, its type and level are useful. Seeing as it's fish type, it can be used with fish depth charge, white salvation, golden flying fish, super ancient, deep sea king, and Bahama shark. But its stat line is so bad, I just had to include it on the list anyway. Despite its mountain of decent support, because its stats are basically what a level 2 normal monster might have, and still be considered bad. Number 5, Soitsu and Aitsu. I'm just going to put these two together, as they both aren't really enough to justify their own spots on the list. These two cards have terrible stat lines, but have specific union cards made just for them that make them stronger and more decent. But their support and union monsters are also garbage. Aitsu is slightly better, as it's level 5 monster with under 1500 attack, so it can be used with Infernal Reckless Summon and used as material for rank 5 monsters who are pretty good. And Soitsu with its lower level can be used to get its union off easier, 
and become a 2500 attack beat stick. Which isn't the worst thing in the world, just kind of not worth the effort. Number 4, Stone Dragon. Of all the level 7 monsters, Stone Dragon is tied for the lowest attack with Slot Machine. But, seeing as Slot Machine is a Dark Machine type monster, it actually has more support. So Stone Dragon makes a list for the crime of being Rock type. Kind of like Ancient Jar. Process of elimination, really. Number 3, Giant Mech Soldier. This is a level 6 vanilla monster with 1750 attack and 1900 defense, which is pretty low for a level 6 monster, but gets over a few thresholds. You see, vanilla monsters above level 5 with less than 1500 attack are actually somewhat valuable, because the elemental floaters can bring them out and they are potential targets for Infernal Reckless Summon which can bring out two other copies of them to give you three high level monsters for exceeds plays. So when dealing with level 5 or higher monsters on this list, I actually look for cards with more than 1500 attack, instead of just looking for the weakest monsters. Now technically, Typho number 2 is the weakest level 6 monster that's above 1500 attack, but it's dragon type, and dragon types have a lot of good extra normal monster support thanks to cards designed to work with blue eyes, like Silver's Cry or Dragon Revival. So it's out of the running. Then it goes up to 1750 attack cards, and there are four monsters who share this stat line. Neck Hunter has the same exact attack and defense as Giant Mech Soldier, but it's Fiend type, and Fiends have a lot of support for their high level monsters, so it's out of the running. Sword Arm Dragon has a higher defense and Dino Normal Monsters support, so it's out too, which leaves Mech Soldier and Pendulum Machine. There isn't a lot of support for level 6 machine type monsters, as the magic level for them is 5 for Cyber Dragon Nova plays, or 8 for Fortress Fodder. And of the two, Giant Mech Soldier has a lower defense, and Pendulum Machine is a dark type so it gets dark machine type support, which makes Giant Mech Soldier the worst level 6 normal monster, and therefore pretty high spot on the list. Number 2, Dark Chimera. Level 5 monsters are a special rank, as there are so many weak level 5 normal monsters for some reason. As with the level 6 part, I exclude all of the ones with less than 1500 attack, which includes Shape Snatch. And for added measures, I actually had to increase the threshold a little more to above 1600 attack, because of cards like Chaos and Master, who can bring out a level 5 monster for level 8 synchro plays, one of the best levels to go into. So with those criteria met, Dark Chimera makes the cut, with barely above 1600 attack, with exactly 1610 attack points. One of the oddest values of attack points in the game, as most cards have even 50s in them. But this card appeared in the anime with its weird attack, which is why it's an exception like this. But, this card is also Fiend type, which has some decent support for level 5 and higher cards. So I did look into the list a little further, and a lot of the other crappy level 5 monsters all also had good types or attributes as level 5 is a pretty useful level to be at for a lot of the good exceeds monsters. So I just stuck with Chimera, and named Chimera the worst level 5 normal monster on this list, and therefore the second worst normal monster. And number 1, Lightning Conger. This card has the worst stat line and weird typing of all level 3 normal monsters, so it was actually kind of an easy pick. The only one actually, all the others took a lot more effort, and seeing as level 3 monsters aren't as useful as the other levels, as level 4 is the most useful, level 5 and higher is useful for being cheated out easily for high level rank plays, and the fact that there is a mountain of support for level 2 and lower normal monsters. A level 3 monster kind of had to take the number 1 spot, and Lightning Conger is the worst of them all and therefore the worst vanilla monster in the game. Alright, and that's it for the video. Do you think I missed any other worst normal monsters in the ones I listed? Or have ideas for other videos like this one? I'd love to hear about them down in the comments.